Can you guys do an impression of each other? <laughs> No. No. Haven't you haven't you seen what Rowena does to Lucifer? Um, that's real. Um, I don't know that my Scottish is, is accent is very good. I like to hear good. your Scottish. No, it, it, it would be sort of Mike Myers-ish, I think. Right now. I mean, I'd still I, like I, I'd to hear. I sound it. more like fat bastard than you. Dead sexy. Is, is that close? It's awesome. Yeah. All right, now, now you go. My my peel peel physical limitation is peeling into insignificance now. So this is this would be you as this for. Hey Rowena. Hey Red. Do you want to be the king and queen of hell with me? See, that's what Rowena wanted. That's yeah. what she wanted from him, but that's instead you'd be like. So that's your, Mickey, that's your Mickey Mouse Club that's my Mickey for Mouse preparation Club. for Rowena. Richard Spate does an imitation of me as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell a brief Mark Pellegrino story because it's 100% true and we're in a new town. There was a time when Pellegrino, early on when we started this dog and pony show, you hadn't done the conventions yet. And at one point, somebody asked me a question and they said, what was going through Lucifer's mind when he killed you? Of course, I have no idea. I didn't play Lucifer. So I called you from the stage. I was like, I don't know, let's call Mark. So we called Mark and left a message, and you know, we didn't get him, but it was a, the audience thought that was funny. You called me afterwards, and I was in the car leaving, and you're like, so what is it with these conventions? What's going on? And we talked about it for a minute, and then- I love your imitation. Yes. Very am I, what am I? What am I smoking? Is what I'm. You're like. just a very intense man, and you're high on life. And so he's like, I'm like, he's like, I don't know if I want if I'm going to do that. I'm not sure. But you had your conversations. You decided to join the convention circuit, and you did. You joined us on the, one of the cons. And then he calls me another time. So what's going on with that karaoke? <laughs> Come check it out. You gotta, you gotta see what's happening. He's like, I don't think I. We have scotch. Okay. <laughs> and he came backstage, really and truly. He's sitting backstage, and I said, Listen, you know, enjoy, hang out. If you want to come up on stage and do a number, or even just step out of stage and wait, they're kind of go crazy. I don't believe I'll be doing that. We still, we have more scotch. I'll take it. <laughs> About three scotches deep. Easy. I'm, yeah, easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm out here, Achilles heel. About three scotches deep, seriously, I go, Mark, just lean out there and say hi. The crowd will go nuts. And you're like, okay. And so we sort of, Mark, you know, spontaneously came through the curtain and the crowd went bananas and you were gracious and waving. And about 45 seconds later, you were standing on a table. Because back then there was tables around. You were standing on a table uh, singing uh, something from... Not big balls. Not big balls. It was from uh, Transvestite. Sweet Transvestite from Pennsylvania. And singing the crap out of it. I mean, you sang, you sang it perfectly. And I was like, this is the guy who wasn't sure about conventions and didn't want to come to the karaoke party? Yeah, but well, see, that's, this is what I'm afraid of. I'm going to get up here, sing a song, and you guys won't be able to kick me off. And you'll be like, Mark, get the fuck off. <laughs> but that's the never, thing, though. Never, never. A, it's a, a good problem to have, but B, it'll never happen. And C, you're doing exactly what you always do, which is say, no, I'm going to scotch you into it. You know that's going to happen. Yeah, you know my price. Yeah, I do. It's scotch. Scotch with this attached to scotch. I never thought I was such a hoe. <laughs> it's a painful lesson we all have to learn about ourselves. It's okay. What's that like? Can you do an, an invitation of Richard imitating you? Yeah. Right. Um, hey Mark, do you wanna do you wanna sing tonight? I don't know, I don't think I don't know. Just give me another scotch and there you go, goodbye. That's <laughs> Is that the way I come off, for real? <laughs> no, no, that's, but that's a good impersonation of Richard. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? That's my Richard. Cornuts! <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi. 
Um, I was just wondering, could you guys do impressions of each other? <laughs> uh, he does, he, I don't like our impressions are not great. I don't think, but he does a pretty good. You he do does a pretty good, good rich. Me. You do good me. I don't know. You're not as neurotic as you used to be. <laughs> Hang out with me. Longer. You were you were easier to imitate when you were as a basket. Yeah, when you were more of a mess. <laughs> I figured out of, of doing them of each other is that Rob and I over the years developed these sort of on stage personas which we then used as the characters in Kings of Con and really truly that kind of happened for us coming up on stage not knowing each other well and, and improving our way through these morning openings and all the stuff we do for conventions so that it became absolutely pieces of our personality for sure but magnified a hundred times so he became this incredibly neurotic guy, and I became a giant crank. And that sort of <laughs> became the personas that we have yeah. embodied. So whenever I see Rob's invitation of me, I'm like, man, I'm a, I'm a sour apple. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always chewing gum. I know. Every time he invites me, I'm chewing gum or eating. <laughs> it's like, no, it is. don't get it. Not a fan. Well, yeah, well, do, do me, though. Do the, uh, get out rich shot, Jesus. Here's my Rob impression. Ready? Uh, it's, guys, it's Rich is constantly putting the thing. Did Cohen, can you help me out with the, you know, sit by me and we can maybe. I just need a friend, you know? <laughs> wow, who does your job? Um, no, the only impersonation I can do is, has been Rob on Buck Chat, which basically consists of. Just be annoying with Richard. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Rich. Rich. Sorry, what did I do? Know. What did I do? <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Are, what, guys? Are you still being raw? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love him. Uh, hey, guys, what did I, what did I, what, what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> Sounds like you guys had fun. <laughs> well, you do, you do, Rich. Asking Rob to get a beer, okay, and I'll be Rob responding. Rob, it's Rich. Hey, Rich. Let's go get a beer. Ah, I'm good, buddy. Thanks. Come on, come on. I'm good too. Well, we're getting a beer, and then we're uh, we're gonna call call a night after one beer. I no, you know, buddy, I'm really I'm gonna have to hold off on that. Hey, what are you talking about, buddy? I'm, I'm like, ah, we're all off. I mean, I had I mean, this life been a long night. I got started. I got a concert tonight. I got a concert. We all got a concert. Let's go do a concert. Boom, concert's done. Let's go. <laughs> Impersonation is quite close to my Jensen impersonation. Because oh. my rich one is like, burr, 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 burr. and then um, my Jensen impersonation, it's more of a Dean impersonation, is, Sam? Is that, did you just say Sam? I do that. That's the only, that's the word that I use. Sam? Sam? The, de the Dean impression is the easiest. Sammy! Sam? Sam? Dean? Sammy! Actually, for you too. Um, so, when you like found out you were playing Adam, did you make like any conscious acting decisions based off of how Jared and Jensen played Sam and Dean? Clearly. <laughs> Sammy. So I got the part. I just walked in the room, was like, Sammy. And they were like, Yeah, let's give it to that guy. Um, I do. I think I have noticed. Even like even with Misha, I feel like we're on. We fall into the trap of all talking down here. <laughs> it's it's hard not to just talk down here all day long because everyone's got this like rich gravelly voice <laughs> um, uh, my question is could you guys do an impression of season one Sam and I told Dad I was scared of the thing under my closet. He thought it was 45 in my closet. Yeah, what do you think he was supposed to do? 
hey, I have to tell you. Oh yeah, please do. I was watching. Uh, I was in Vancouver, but watching the the show this week's episode. The oh, live. we were on this week Thursday. Yeah, we were on. Oh, cool. Yeah, we were live on the show. We were on it. We were on it. You and I were both on it. We were. On. Yeah. Um, but I was watching the LA, the Los Angeles feed, and during one of the commercials, a commercial came on for the Burbank Convention. Oh, really? And you go, hi, I'm Castillo. <laughs> you did the voiceover, not as Misha, and you're like, come see, stars Richard Spade Jr., Rob Benedict, and Misha Collins. It, but you did the whole thing. Like spot on. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 you thought about like, maybe doing Saturday Night Live or something like that? Yeah, no, I get told that a lot, and I should do my invitations. <laughs> I get the feeling if I imitate them all, they might all sound the same. <clears throat> but but here's uh, here's Misha, Sam, Dean. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was raising people from perdition. <laughs> So, so like if you, you're saying, so if Sam, for instance, took over, if, Sam occupied Castiel's vessel. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Right. What would he be like? Or i.e. the actor Misha played Sam. Exactly. Got it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I raise you from perdition. You better go one wing, son. Caca. Caca. <laughs> you. Caca. You. You won that round. You won that round. So my question was actually for Matt, but since he stood me up, <laughs> um, stood could you guys up. answer it as Matt? No. <laughs> I'll try. Show your abs. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask him what he's doing now that he's finished General Hospital and is moving on to new and better things. Right now he's making a Lifetime movie, or a Lifetime program. I know that. That's why he was able to be here, busy making shows for Lifetime. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to <laughs> just do my best, man. It's yeah. like, I don't know. Sometimes I just like smoke a little weed and just like, I don't know. It's like, all right, I'll take it off. <laughs> And Sam, you're welcome. I have to make a request. Can we get a, a special, before we move on from the invitations, a, a special Richard Encore Jensen comedy elbows? Just one. Give us a line. Comedy elbows. <laughs> Dude, they're just so good. These so, guys. You've always had a good Vincent in your arsenal and a pretty decent Jared. I've never been able to imitate the boys until recently. I discovered, like, everybody has a tell, right? That's how you imitate somebody. You find the thing that is repetitive and they do all the time in certain situations. Like apparently me throwing Robin to the bus. That would be an example. <laughs> um, so Jensen, we realized, when, first of all, when Jensen doesn't find something funny, he's not subtle about it. Like he's completely, you know, he's like your angry older brother. Like yeah, he's just not in the mood. And then when he, when he, when he, when he, when he decides he wants to participate halfway through, he does it, but he has to prep himself accordingly. So. Set the scene. We're in the we're in the green room in Rome, and we decided it would be very funny if we would do the bit where you know you say, "Well, I'm going to wear a jacket, or I'm not going to wear a jacket." And only we were doing it in a puerile manner of saying, "Should I go jacket on or should I go jacket off?" That's because we're twelve. Maybe I should go jacket on to the photo ops, and right in the middle of the photo ops, I should just go jacket off, and then we're making ourselves laugh at this bit. And uh, so Jensen walks in from doing whatever he's doing, and we're like, So Jensen, did you go jacket off in the photo ops? I'm like, what? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh. We, we want to know if you were doing jacket on or jacket off. Right, yeah, we're doing a bit. Okay. <laughs> jacket off. <laughs> and then he's out. And then he's out. It's comedy elbows. Watch him in his panel tomorrow. He will do it. And he will also lick his lips. That's what he does before he makes what he knows is a killer joke. <laughs> I remember this one time, Jared. We were on set. I mean, there you go. I mean, it is He's like, it up. Oh my god, it's so perfect.
good teacher. The joke with Jensen Ackles is, and it, it's not a joke, is that Jensen doesn't use verbs. And, and he's a man who likes to get to the point quickly. And the other day he was texting Rob about this weekend, and he's like, Rob, drink Sunday. Literally, that's what it said. Period, period, period. I'm like, well, that's okay. I guess something's going on. And, and then the other time in the past, I texted Jensen, we were going back and forth on some issue, and I texted this very heartfelt response and concern I had about whatever issue we were discussing. Oh, it's in this text. And then you see, like, you can see it, he's reading it, you see the little three dots come, he's texting back. Bing! And all I said was, I'm gonna need shorter texts from you. <laughs> it's something really heartfelt, right? And I was like, aw. <laughs> from, the, from the colossal waste of time desk. So after the drink Sunday text, I was like, great, we'll pick a place. I'm sure Rich would like to weigh in and I'm sure it'll be lengthy. That's what I said. But Rich, of course. But the comic genius that he is, like I gave him a, he wrote back, whatever's good. Very brief, egg on my face. To which Jensen said, short, sweet, like it. I just want to address the elephant in the room. Yes, Rob and I did call each other. <laughs> it's, that's so the truth. We went shopping together. It'll be us. I mean, you really do look good. And so do you. You look so good. And can I tell you how that conversation went? Jensen called Rob and said, Rob, shirt, white, pants, black, shoes. <laughs> His impression of me is so spot on. <laughs> I, did, I did a whole Jensen thing. Your comedy, the your comedy elbows? What was what was the actual uh, the, what took place that really started? We did the, the, we did the jacket on jacket off. Yeah, jacket jacket on, jacket on. Jacket on. Here go. Is it a bit? It's a bit. Is it a bit? Is it a bit? <laughs> the, the funny thing about Jensen Ackles is that Jensen Ackles has become a parody of himself. Yeah. <laughs> and if you've been coming to cons long enough, you know what I'm talking about. Like we started pointing out things about him, like the comedy elbows and things like that that he does. We're like. What are we doing? No, oh, do it a bit? Alright. Hey, choose invisible bubble gum. He, he licks his lips before he's gonna say something funny. Alright. <laughs> this is one of the safer bits. He loves that bit. But the, he literally does the thing, he'll walk by, as a director, I would say work with those guys in that capacity, and he literally walks on going, what are we doing? <laughs> and I'm like, how do you do the thing? What do they do? <laughs> he said, what are we doing? Well, what are we doing? I want to know what we're doing. How else am I supposed to ask, what are we doing? But by walking in here and saying, what are we doing? I said, that's fine, but if you ever hear Mick Jagger at a restaurant complaining about the service, and he says, I just can't get no satisfaction, it's funny, because, <laughs> He's saying the thing that we know that he says out of context of the joke, bringing it back to the joke. So you go walking in and going, what are we doing? What are we, you're doing the thing. It's been funny being working with him and like, Robin and I come out and before the last question was cemented as part of the panel, the, they, the, these, Robin and I make comedy decisions in a vacuum. We don't tell people. So suddenly Norton's playing that song we're running around. <laughs> Jensen's like, what are we doing? Is it time to run around like idiots? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and he literally was like, what are we doing? What? Oh, oh, doing a bit? All right. Even still, even still, we've been doing last question for a long time, and whenever we come out of stage, he goes, watch it tomorrow. <laughs> right. says, his eyes, without asking, are saying, what are you doing? And then he'll go, and then Rich, and then he'll go, <laughs> oh, we're doing a bit. Um, <laughs> He really walks over to you to talk into the song. He's like, this last question? We're having it up? That's what we're doing? Okay. It's the last. And then he shows yeah. Yeah. He does. He does a really good Jensen Ackles imitation. He does. Yeah. Right up until yeah. the song. So that's why Jensen Ackles. Robert? I was just trying to think. Jared is, besides, of course, like the hair, you know, you can always just do the hair mine. Right. The hair's getting in his way. But there's something, like, uh, in, pretty intense about uh, and fast talking about Jared uh, is uh, 
Oh, did you, oh, okay, it's okay. What's your name? What's your name? Claudia. Claudia, 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 it's fine, right? Anna Claudia, it's fine, Claudia. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia uh, thanks so much. This is the last question. Thanks so much. What's it? It remains like it. It's like it. Say hello to the uh, supernatural uh, audience. Super, say hello to Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. So, you can take it. Yeah, say hello to Claudia. Claudia. One thing about Jay, I never really thought about that, but you're right, he does do that. And that's got to be really intimidating if you've just been watching him on TV, and now you have this, you know, big bird-sized human kind of like, coming at y'all, elbow, and like, hey! And so happy to do a super I like hugs. Yeah. Yeah, and he's very... Oh. When he comes and gives me a hug, I'm always like... Yeah. We're now inside the, the, the ears of the person. Yeah. Like, Look over the tent said, What are we doing? <laughs> oh. Say it. 